Okay, so today, first thing I will talking about the resonant. And before we start with the resonance, I'd like to go over a few things. Okay, you guys have to know. First thing is the capacitor when they connect the AC circuitry and they get the resistance. And that's what we call a capacity reactant. I see. I see one one over two pi FC. So basically, you guys don't have to memorize the formula. However, when you're looking into the formula, you know how to use it, how to do it your calculation. And also, inductor, when you connect to the AC, they get a resistance. That's what we call cup inductive reactant. What? L. Okay. Make sure if anything confusing, anything you need to know, more let me know, okay? So when the frequency increase, So I see it will be up or down? Up. I see. When the frequency going up. Down? Down. I see going down. And I can. Goes up. Going up. So that's what you can see. I see an HL on the time. They will be opposite. When you're changing the frequency, HL going up, then I see will be going down. So at a certain frequency, I see an IL equal. That will be telling you on the inductive, you know, and the capacity reactant, they will be canceled out. That means at a certain frequency, I see IL will be equal and they cancel out. The thing is one going up, the other going down. And that frequency, they call a 
frequency resonance. Okay, FR. And they will be calculated by one over two pi square root. L times C. Okay, so at the frequency Fi equal one over two pi square root of L and C, then Hc, Hl will be equal. Okay, now. For a serial of parallel LC circuit, we have a special, special effect when the inductive reactant HL equal capacity reactant HC. <coughs> For the theory LC circuit, HL HC will be equal at some frequency and cancel each order, leaving only the internal resistance of the coil to limit the current. You understand a, when I see HL equal, okay? So they cancel out and only the left over will be RI, that means internal resistance of the inductor. The thing is when they make the inductor, they're using the wiring, okay? So that's why they get a, a little resistance. For parallel LC circuit, the inductor and the capacity brand current will be equal at some frequency at the results, HL and XC being equal. The result but opposite the brand current, therefore, will cancel each other resulting in a net total light current is nearly zero. The formula is to determine the frequency where XC where I can let's see, equal zero ohm. And let's see, ohm solves. That means they cancel out. Now, first thing we're talking about, theory. So, at the resonant frequency for the series circuitry, you and I do get the only one color. My total. So when at the resonant frequency, I see I can have equal the cancel out. So the register now only five. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. So register now only five ohm. So what they want? Can I go? Cross my friend. They want to look like somebody that's just going to convert. Yeah. <laughs> he does. Oh, Peter Russell. <laughs> Mute the mics, please. Mute the mics. <laughs> ¿Cómo ves al, al Chris con las máquinas? 
Well, he's still young. How come I knew all? Oh. I made him work without any. Okay, so at the resonant frequencies for this series circuitry resistant only five ohm. What do they want? They want the maximum current. Okay, so in the series circuitry at a certain frequency, that's what we call a resonant frequency, then you get a maximum current. That's why, how when you tune in your radio, you want the sound louder. That means you want more current. Okay, that, that's why. When you tune in, you try to looking for the resonant frequencies. Okay. So now you understand at the resonant frequency IC and ITL equal, they cancel out. That will be giving you the maximum current of the circuitry. Okay. Theory resonant. In here, we try to explain, okay? RI resistance is the coil of the, the resistance of the, of the coil. And another one you need to also know, the quality of the, the figure of merit for a coil is a measure of it the reactant, okay, Q equal XL over RI. That's just telling you how good, okay, for the inductor, okay? Now, that one I already doing a calculation for you. Okay, first thing, I need to calculate the FR. Okay, substitute into the formula. And I get that equal. Can you tell me? Are you doing calculation for me? What the FR equal? Make sure you have to try to do your calculations. Even in the test, you don't have to memorize the formula we given to you. However, you have to do your calculations. Who get the answer? Is it twelve point six? 
What's your guess? Twelve point six. No. Who else? Four megahertz. Four megahertz. That's the correct answer. Okay. Anyway, you have to go up to try later. Okay. Number two, they want to get the inductive reactant at the resonance. You understand the formula will be HL. Two pi. Head out. Telling me how many ohms you get. Two fifty one. Two fifty one point three. And now Jews already know XC one over two five. F, C, and they will be equal. So you don't have to do calculation, F, C. They still do 51 and treat. Number four. They want the total impedance at resonance. Since XL and XC cancel each other out, the only thing you have left is that little RI, so that would be the impedance. What the value? Five ohm? Exactly. They will be five ohm. The thing is, HL going up. XC going down. So that's why they cancel out. The left over only 5 ohm in the circuitry. And Number five, they want to calculate the total current at the resonance.
Did you get 20 milliamps? 20 milliamps, all right. And the last one in this box here, quality. I already given to you Q equal XL over RI. Five zero point two six. Fifty when twenty six. Okay, so any questions? Regarding to that calculation from number one to number six. Okay, if it not, try to see what else. Now you're looking on a display here. That stands for I total. Okay. That's a zero divided zero. At the resonant frequency for megahertz. Okay. Go and go to the maximum. When the curve Frequency keep increase and the resistance of the circuitry will be changing. Current keep going down. Okay. So for the series circuit at the resonant frequency, you will be get the maximum current. And now if you're looking in here, total impedance. Okay, at the resonant frequency, I see XL can show out. You get only phi ohm, the resistance in the circuitry. Okay. Now, the next one, they want to know the bandwidth. Basically, you can see. That will be minus 3 dB. Or that will be a 0 0.707 of the ID. So now 20 milliamp, if you take the 0 0.707, You can get 14.14. 14. This will be the low frequency core F1. That's the high frequency. F2, and that will be the bandwidth. Okay, 
Let's see. Is it a given formula? Okay, they're given you the formula. The bandwidth equal FR divide Q. FR, that means for megahertz. Divide Q 50.26. So the bandwidth will be equal. How many kilo? Mr. Pham, did you want the bandwidth? Yeah. Okay, so it's uh, 79.586 79. K. K. Yes. So I think it will be 79. Why? Six. Mm -hmm. And now they want the lower cutoff F1. How are they given you the formula? Try to do your calculation. F1 equal FR minus bandwidth divide by two. So, Mr. Pham, did you get uh, 3.96? Yes. And that, that would be F1. F1 equal what? 3.96K. No, I don't think so. 3,999? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Meg. I went off. 3,999? The bandwidth is seventy nine point six K two thirds when you divide it by two, divide it by two equal
That was my calculation. So, so Mr. Pham, you, you took the, but the, the do F1, you took the bandwidth, which was 79.6 K, is that right? And you divide yeah. by, and you divide it by two. Right. And then you subtract that answer from uh, four megahertz. Exactly. Okay. For some reason, I'm, I'm getting a different answer. Anyone get the same my answer? Let me, let me do it again. Let me see. 79.6 K. 79. K for K. And then you divide it by two, divide by two equal. 39,800, and you subtract that from minus I get um, one, two, I get 3.96 meg. Yeah, let's see. 3.96 times a thousand. Because if you take 79.6 K. Okay, that will be 3960. All right? Well, well like, like I said, I get 3.96. Meg yeah. for, for F1. What would you do? Zero point two. You, you take 79.6 K and you divide that by two. And whatever that answer is, you subtract it from four megs. And that's a small answer. So you would still get a meg answer, not a K answer. That's 3.96 megahertz, not K hertz. No, I went kilohertz. Well, you might. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You 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 don't want it in megahertz. You want the answer in kilohertz. Exactly. Okay, I I, I see. But it's the same thing as three point nine six meg. Yeah, I see. Okay. That was F1, correct? Right. That's what I get. Okay. Yeah, I left mine in Meg, but you did yours in K. It's the same right. thing. It's the same thing. Exactly.
best any question regarding a unit problem. Try to make it clear for everyone. What I said, you don't have to memorize the formula. However, when you see the formula, you have to know how to do your calculation. Okay, I need more questions. Okay, now you guys do it for me. The next problem. You get 25 volt AC. Inductor 0 0.1 milli Henry, internal resistance of the inductor 12.56 and C1 to 53.3 Pico Farad. Now, you doing your calculation for me. Ever. Who we'll get the resonant frequency? It's basically one megahertz. That's correct. The answer will be one megahertz. The second thing they want inductive reactant like L to buy FRL. Did you get one fifty seven? One five seven? No. But XL, you didn't get 157? No. Huh. Try okay. to see who L can get that. Okay, okay, okay. I'll let somebody else give it.
hit the wrong button was 628. 628. 628.30. 0.3, yeah. And that C will be the same. Number four, total impedance. That's where you said X of L equal X of C. So they cancel out. So the only thing left is IR. All right. Which is 12.56. Well, thank Then number five, total current. If you understand it. You can get it done very quick. Twenty five converter. One point nine nine. One point nine nine. Perfect, 1.99. And quality, Q. Is that 1.99 milli? Ah, that's M, not milli. Oh, not milli? I must have hit the wrong button again. <laughs> But Q equal. Oh, 25 volts. Not no volts. 50. Perfect. 50. And. Yeah, that's right. Number seven. They want to calculate the voltage, got the capacitor or inductor. They're supposed to be equal. What the value? 1,250. What VC or VL equal? Uh, 12 volts, 0.5. I believe that's the one thousand. One thousand two fifty. Two Okay. No. Number eight, bandwidth. One point two five. No. Where else? Twenty thousand. 
I want kilo hop. Okay. 20K. 20K, all right. And they want lower cut off and a higher cut off F1, F2. Nine ninety? Nine ninety K. That's what I get. You got nine hundred and ninety K, right? Right. One thousand ten. And the other one will be one thousand ten. Okay, one thousand ten. All right. So try to understand the resonance circuit. One of the formula that's not a big deal. However, you have to do your calculation. Sometimes we want it, unit can be different. Mega hook or kilo hook. Okay. You have to work on that. Any question on this circuitry? Okay, if it's not, you go. You can see that one, okay, in the handout. We already telling you. Maximum is 1.99, okay? And basically, they, the bandwidth here, they're going down minus 3 dB, or 0 0.7, 0 0.7, times 1.99, okay? So you get F1, and you get F2, and this is the bandwidth. We already calculated the bandwidth. When it gets, if you want F1, then you take the Resonant frequency minus bandwidth divided by two. And the higher frequency here E equal resonant frequency plus bandwidth divided by two. Okay. Now we go to another circuit. Hey, Mr. Pam. Yeah. Just a real quick question. Can you go back to that first one? Uh, keep keep going back a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Little. I just uh, I just want to make sure I understand. A little bit more. It's a it's a great great. Yeah, right here, right here, where it says resonant frequency equal four megs. The 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 the, the graph on the left. So that means impedance is at minimum, and then the, the current is at maximum for this. Is that right? Exactly. So the one on the left, the impedance is minimum. Right. OK, thank you. That's what I was looking at. That's why they want theory resonant. I think they want maximum current. And minimum impedance. 
Right. Okay. Now we go parallel regional. They will be the same thing in parallel regional. They want the maximum impedance and the minimum current. Okay, that is the difference. If you're looking into here, okay, then this is for the impedance, right. maximum, maximum, and that will be current. Minimum. Okay, so you understand me. You want much more current, and the circuitry have to be series. Okay. However, if you want to maximum impedance, then they have to using the parallel circuit. And Mr. Fam, just one thing: that dashed line. That is not touching the bottom, is that right? Yeah, that's still a little correct. A little bit left, right? Right. Okay, thank you. Okay, do go ahead and do calculation for me. The reason I want you guys to do calculation, that means I want to give you the correct answers. Okay? And you get a chance to try to do it over and over. Number one, regional frequency. One 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 zero zero six. Exactly. Wow. That's, that's K. Mega. Oh, you want megahertz for that? Yeah, I got one zero zero six five eight four. But when you answer, you have to be depending on what we want. Okay, all right. What Mr. Pham want. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you stay in pick one forever. That's right. <laughs> Number two, XL. Number three, XC. They're supposed to be equal.
6.3K for number two. But you get 632 kilo O. Right. Make will be of IL and IC. They're supposed to be equal. Did you get something like, well, one, two, three, zero point zero two three seven milli volt milliamps? What do you get? Point zero 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 two three. What? Point zero 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 two three. Twenty three milliamps. 0 0.0237 milliamps. I'll, I'll say it again. Zero, zero, five. 0 0.0237 milliamps. Did anybody get the Q to be 150? 150, all right. Nine hundred forty eight kilo ohms. Well, fine.
158 microamps. Zero one. Five eight. That's what I get. Six hundred and seventy kilohertz. And with right? Yes. You take FR divide Q. Six point seven. Six point seven, correct. And now we need lower cut off, higher cut off. Two point three kilohertz. One eight one one. I already given you the formula. One zero zero six kilohertz. That means resonant frequencies minus bandwidth. If I buy two. The one oh two point six K. Yeah, correct. One. Okay. Zero zero two. two right. Point six. There we go. And the last one, F2. So one zero zero nine point three five. One zero zero nine. 
point thirty five or four, yeah, whatever. Okay, so anyway, if you want the maximum color, they're using the theory resonance circuit. If you want the maximum impedance, that means the left color, then they're using the parallel resonance. And make sure you try to do over and over guarantee to able to get your calculation a correct answer. Okay, and the question, and it is up to this point. Okay, so if it's not, you see, this we just quickly go over, okay, from the left wall. Do the inductive capacity reactor in RLC circuit vary with frequency, yet or not? Yes. The answer will be yes. Yeah, correct. That's what I wanted to talk to you at the beginning. Okay, you vary the frequency. I see XL will be varied. An increase in frequency cause the inductive reaction to increase. A decrease in the frequency cause the inductive reaction to be decreased. We already know that. A decrease in the frequency cause capacity reaction to increase, okay? An increase in frequency called the capacity reaction to decrease. Will be decreased, right? Or increase. They say an increase in the frequency called capacity reaction they will be you can see the formula fc equal one over two pi fc f going up that means fc will be going down Decree.
from this only. They're not Gente. But I don't know how come it only doesn't mean it. I'm going to be there with the computer. It's supposed to be the priest, right? Should it be the priest? With the priest is right. Yeah, I mean it. Okay. Okay, now. okay, they say at some frequency, inductive capacity, they act on an equal. This frequency we call a resonant. Okay, and the formula to calculate it, one over two pi square root LC. Okay, I stop there for a big guy. Screw up. Okay, I say on the computer. Okay, see, at resonant, the atoms are equal, so they cancel one another. The total circuit impeded of a serial C circuit at the resonant is simply the circuit resistant R1. That means internal resistance of the, of the coil.
That's what they given you the minimum resistance. Okay, adrenaline fight. Total circuit current A. Which one? Maximum. Maximum per fight. Okay, that shows you the maximum current at resonant frequency. IFC series circuits are widely used in radio, TV, and communication equipment for tuning and filtering because they allow a lot big current at the resonant frequencies and provide high opposition to the current flow at all other frequencies. This ability select a desired frequency while rejecting other frequency in all at selectivity, okay? The selectivity of the circuit is determined by bandwidth. That's what we already know. That will be down minus 3 dB. Next, semester, next meeting, we will be talking about decibel. The bandwidth is determined the upper and lower cutoff frequencies. Okay. And we already know get through that. At what frequency are inductive and capacity reactant equal in a series ILC AOB? B. B. Okay, and also this is the formula I already gave it to you. Okay. Now, calculate the resonant frequency of this circuit. Thirty-three point nine. I don't know. That when you're working on lab four, you have to do. Sin X L one X C one equal the effect cancel one another. The total circuit impedance is simply the circuit resistance. What is the circuit impedance? Now that is easy telling me dry. If you're looking into this circuitry at the resonance, what's the total impedance? One kilo ohms? One K. One K. Perfect or 1,000 ohms. Okay, look like you guys can understand, okay? So that will be the end. You get any question, anything else, okay? So finally, you understand the, we don't care much about the attending hour. Attending hour, they already gave it to you guys. 
at uh, June, how many hours you supposed to get? July, how many hours? Okay, and also August. That out of my hand, I cannot do anything. Only thing I can do, guarantee you able to get through you know, take one with your understanding. You have to do your homework, you have to do your quiz, and one will be the final on August. Okay. On up the formula, we can give it to the guy. However, understand calculation, that is your job. Okay, any question, anything? Okay, if it's not, so that will be Caesar guy next Thursday. Make sure you download the complex number. That means you can solve the RCL circuitry. Like the one we already done. When you're learning the complex number, giving you another way to solving for ILC circuitry with a complex number. So when you get questions, you can do either way. The one we already did it, or the new one will be using complex number. If you go to the college, university, then they will be able to go to more detail with the complex number, okay? That are very also powerful to solving RCL circuit. So make sure you have to download that complex number before we get a meeting. Next Thursday. Okay, any more questions? Anything? No, thank you. Okay. So, where shall we go, guy? Next Thursday. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night, thank you. Good night. Good night, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.